Hello and welcome to episode 15 of the New Salon Marketing Show. My name is Vanessa McDonald. I am the founding director of Salon Marketing Creative Agency. We specialize in helping beauty salon and skin clinic owners scale their business through an increase in skin treatments and retail sales utilizing the most valuable marketing asset that they own, which is their customer database. Coming to you live from a lockdown in Sydney, and I have to have to emphasize uh, the importance of your database during times such as when you find yourself smack bang in a the middle of a COVID lockdown, because it is the one resource that you have to keep revenue turning over in your business. Right now, I know that many salon owners have their end of financial year sale happening. And I also know many of you are experiencing great success uh, by you know taking action and implementing that particular promotion. In SMC Insider, which is our exclusive Facebook group, we've had a focus on end of financial year for a number of weeks now. And I was talking to one of our targeted growth marketing clients only last week who had just come out of the recent Victorian lockdown. And in two days only, she had generated $6,000, over $6,000 in retail sales by being a hashtag SMC action taker and implementing her end of financial year sales. So if there are any clinics at the moment who are affected by the Sydney lockdown and you do have an end of financial year sale, all I can say is, right? How great is that? So take the promotion even further, pick up the phone, start calling your clients, check in with them, see how they are and let them know about the great deal that you currently have in place for them so you can keep that income coming into your business for the next two weeks. Now, for today's episode of the New Salon Marketing Show, I'm going to be talking with you about a topic that I think is really important, and that is how do you increase your customer lifetime value? Today is part one of uh, this particular uh, this particular topic for the show. Part two will happen next week. Today, I'm going to be delivering to you, sharing with you two important tips that you can implement in your business straight away to help you increase your customer lifetime value. And then I'll be delivering another three tips to you next week. So if it's your first time joining me for the Salon Marketing Show, please say hello, let me know where you're watching from, what's your name, what's the name of your clinic, so that I can get to know you. I am going to share my screen and let's get stuck into today's lesson. Okay. Okay, fabulous. Episode 15 of the New Seller Marketing Show. How to increase your customer lifetime value part one. So we'll focus on two tips today. But before I do, I'd just like to get everyone into the right mindset for uh, today's topic. And I'd like to share a story with you, which I... I learned about through my own business coach, Alan Dibb from SuccessWise. And it's a story called The Acres of Diamonds. This is not a new story. This has actually been around for a long time. It's based on a classic inspirational speech by a gentleman called Russell H. Uh, Cornwell. And the, the, the story is about a, an African farmer who sold his farm to go in search of diamonds, okay, to go out into the world, search for diamonds. However, after doing that and spending years slogging it out, looking for diamonds in other people's backyard, what he was to discover was that he had a huge diamond mine on his own farm the entire time. It's a tragic story. He ended up throwing himself in a river and checking out based on making this discovery. So um, wasn't a good outcome for the African farmer from Russell H. Cromwell's original inspirational speech. But the moral to the story is that at this very, very moment, each of us is standing in the middle of our own acres of diamonds because you do have a database You have a fantastic beauty salon that you have been growing for some of you 
for decades, for years, lots of clients who already know, like, and trust you. And it's just a matter of being aware that you do have this diamond mind in, sitting in your database right now. You just need to have the know-how and the patience so that you're able to take whatever action is required in order to grow the business that you possess right now effectively. And it stops and starts with your database, especially if you are in, find yourself in a lockdown as we are in Sydney at the moment. This is where you can find the riches that are awaiting to be you know, unlocked for your own business, for your own brand. So my question is what diamonds in your diamond mine are you not using? And that is what today is all about. So before we get started, um, before I start to go into the details of the first, um, the two tips that I've, I'm going to be sharing with you today and another three to follow next week, consider just when it comes to what I'm suggesting, it's you have existing clients who already know, like, and trust you and love you. They're coming in for certain services, purchasing certain products, the question is, how can you get more from those clients? Okay, those clients that you've already established a relationship with. But the mindset is not that of a selfish mindset. It's not like, okay, how can I get more out of these people? It's about approaching it from a standpoint of an exchange of value. How can I give more value to my existing clients so that they're willing to exchange um, you know, their hard earned money with me. And that approach to mindset is going to help you when you're considering how can I get more from the acres of diamonds clients that I already have. Okay. Um, it will also help your team. Clients will thank you for it because you'll, you'll be giving them uh, solutions and ways that they can actually get more for themselves from the services and the products that you offer. So my first tip is recommending. Some people call it upselling and at SMC, we like to refer to it as recommending. Recommending is hands down one of the most effective ways that you can get more yield from the clients that you are already servicing and taking care of, those people that you're already treating. So the first step is to consider bundling add-ons to services and products that your clients are already enjoying. Okay, that's a great way of increasing lifetime value. But don't ever make the mistake of assuming, especially with those A clients, you've got you know, your top level A clients and you've got your B clients in the middle and then you've got your C clients down the bottom. With those A clients, uh, don't ever assume just because they're spending, they're already spending a significant amount of money with you that they don't want to spend more. Sometimes it's just a matter of bringing something to their attention. Okay. Now, one of the ways that you can approach, uh, can, you can approach this is using uh, the contrast principle. So I'm going to be explaining to you what the contrast principle is all about. So essentially it's about enhancing the whole experience for your client and adding additional products and services that will enhance the primary reason why they're coming to see you in the first place. So here's an example for you. If you have a client who is investing in a, we're in peak peel season at the moment, they're investing in a course of peels. Let's say that there are six treatments included, which are made up of peels plus LED, and the investment for that client is $1,000. Now, it would be really easy to think that, wow, that person has, is already spending a shit ton of money with me. I'm not sure if I feel really comfortable you know, suggesting anything else to increase their spend based on this investment in a, in a skin program. Well, if you implement the contrast principle, that's going to help you and your team feel a lot more comfortable understanding that this principle and how it works for this client is actually going to be a, a, a no brainer add on for that particular package. So we've got a thousand dollar investment. 
So one of the things that you could, the, one of the ways that you could increase uh, that spend by at least 12% with one product that's valued at, for this example, at $120, is to say to the client, okay, so you've invested in, uh, you, you've decided to go ahead on this skin journey um, during winter and we'll be seeing you every week for six weeks or every fortnight for six weeks for a, a peel and LED treatment. If you use this serum at home, whatever that serum is, between visits, your skin will benefit in this way. These are the results. These are the, the um, this is how this serum will enhance the already amazing results that you will see as a result of coming into the clinic on a regular basis for a course of treatment. The serum is only $120. So compared to the investment of the skin program to the client, the serum is perceived as, a, as being reasonably priced. That's the contrast principle. So there's something for you to think about, especially for those of you who are very focused at the moment on the peak peel season for winter. You may be uh, encouraging or mentoring your team to talk to your clients about skin fitness boot camps. Uh, for example, you may have a campaign marketing promotion happening, whereas a client's coming in for, for a, a peel based on a campaign and the transition strategy is to move them into some type of skin fitness boot camp. Even beyond that, if you introduce or if you implement and use the contrast principle, you can take that average spend even higher. You're making a recommendation. You're increasing that client's lifetime value. Is anyone currently using that principle in their business and they didn't even realize they were doing it? Is there anyone watching this now that's thinking to themselves, that makes sense. If I've got a client who's investing significant amounts of money in a skin program, of $1,000 or more, of course it makes sense that a serum for $120 will seem like a very reasonable price in comparison to that initial investment. Makes sense to me anyway. If I was, if I was a client in your clinic and you, and you recommended that I utilized a product at home that was $120 and I just invested $1,000 with you, I'd be like, yeah, sure, throw it in. I'll make sure that I, I use that at home so I can maximize my results because I trust you. I believe in what you're saying. Another thing that you can do at the moment, and this is really relevant for anyone affected by lockdowns, is up your Zoom consultation games and have a and really focus on your online store. I'm so relieved to know that so many of our SMC Insider members and our targeted growth marketing clients right now have live, active, beautifully presented online stores. And that was something that they decided to take action in lockdown one. April in 2020, when we were first affected by COVID-19. And uh, many of our clients went, yep, you know what, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to invest in an online store. And they have, and it's live, and it's ready to go. So now is the time to consider, well, how can I get more yield from my existing database? Even though I can't do treatments, I have a database of clients who not just know, like, and trust me, they love me and they want to support me and my little family business and my team so that we can keep thriving through any, any, any of these snap lockdowns that can happen because of this, this global pandemic that we, we are currently living through. So in order to do that, because we are the professional you know, beauty and skin industry and product should be prescribed, especially with anyone who might be a first time skin client with you, of course, a consultation is required or recommended. So consider that. Maybe that's the one part of your online business that you haven't quite perfected, you haven't quite gotten, you know, it, it's not quite streamlined so that you're able to send out an SMS or send out an email, remind clients that you have Zoom consultations um, available. And what is the process internally for you and your team to conduct those consultations, take orders, or even to conduct the consultation if you don't immediately take an order and then direct your clients to uh, purchase the products that you're recommending for them through their online store. So 
Pro promote your Zoom consultations and your online store in clinic. Continue to do that once you you can reopen or if you're watching from another state, you're not affected by lockdowns at the moment. Start now. Make Zoom consultations, online skin analysis, part of your everyday operation of your business. If a client mentions to you they have a teenager at home and they've got some challenges with their skin, uh, let them know, you know that you can actually book a consult an online consultation for John. We can, we can uh, meet with him and you over Zoom and we can get him on a basic skincare regime, give him some tips on how he can start to take care of his skin at home. You don't even have to bring him into the clinic. So just make that an everyday part of your recommendations for your clients. That is definitely going to help you to increase, not only increase your existing client's lifetime value, but even through that example I gave you, attract a new client into your business as well. Promote your online store. Consider if there's a reward system that you can introduce to your business that only focuses on retail. So contact whoever it is that's helped you set up your online store and ask the question, is there an app, is there a plugin, is there a way that I can introduce a reward system to encourage my clients to purchase online because that is going to help you to compete in what is quite a competitive online market and also to start to create um, content for social media with a focus on your zoom consultations and your online store because I know for many of you it's 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 a reaction to a situation. The best example I can give is the one we're in now. So we're in a lockdown and there will be clinics in Sydney that invested in an online store and they've got a beautiful, beautiful online presence. Their brand's on point and all of their products are set up and it's connected to their website, but they don't really talk about it through uh, their social media platforms, Instagram and Facebook, TikTok, wherever it is that you're currently working and you know nurturing an online audience they don't really talk about it until it's a reaction to a situation like this so make it a permanent part of your social media planning and content that you're putting out there so that it's just part of doing business now having this online presence i hope that's been helpful tip number two today so we finished with tip number one which is recommending and upselling tip number two is ascension so i wanted to share with you this is from dictionary online what ascension actually means so it's the action of rising to an important position or a higher level so utilizing ascension in your business to increase your customer's lifetime value is something that i'd like you all to start to think about and consider some of the tactics and the strategies that you can put in place because right now at this very moment you all have clients that are visiting you for treatment services x y and z Okay, but you offer a melange of different treatments that solve all sorts of concerns and pain points for people. Maybe you're not very active with your campaign marketing and therefore your clients aren't aware that you, you uh, there are certain problems, skin especially, skin related problems that you're able to fix for them. Okay, so the best example I can give for this particular example is all clients are skin clients whether or not they come to you just for grooming services, just for brow work, lash work, occasional spray tan, every single person sitting right now in your database is a skin client. Why is that? Well, I've talked about that on previous episodes of the Seller Marketing Show. From memory, I think it was episode nine, where I went through six different categories of skin clients. And beyond the six, every person who you are currently treating washes their face therefore they are a skin client potentially to purchase a, a, a cleanser from you if nothing else so as far as um, the clients that are visiting you on a regular basis you do offer products you do offer services that they would benefit from and you can um, introduce or implement this concept of ascension into other things for them that you offer so there is a greater exchange of value between the two of you okay all right so ascension it's a process of moving your existing clients to 
higher a higher level or higher price products or services or other products and services. Thinking about giving them an, an upgrade path from the services they're currently having to the services or the products they could be having or could be using. And one of the ways that you can do this is to consider a skin journey for them, a skin program, whatever is going to be the right match for where they're at, whether or not they're a basic uh, user of skincare or whether or not they are quite sophisticated. Or you could, with your new clients, introduce those new clients that have come to you for beauty services to um, introduce them to the professional skin brands that you, you work with and the treatments that you offer via a thank you gift pack. One of the things that you can definitely do with Ascension, one of the approaches that you can have with the mindset is that it's a red carpet experience to give your clients something to aspire to. Now, I'd like to share with you one of the ways that we set up gift packs at SMC for our foundation marketing clients. And, and you can see here on my screen, I've got one of our gift packs and it's a self-folding client thank you gift pack or client welcome gift pack. And each of the... Each of the um, vouchers on this gift pack can be torn off and redeemed in the clinic. One of the vouchers is a is a referral voucher. It's for your existing clients to hand on to to family and friends. Here's another one that we have, and the um, and there are also two gifts which are redeemable within the clinic. Now this is a great ascension tool for your, your your new clients that are coming through. So if they're coming through and they're having a brow shape and tint, a lash tint. You can present them with a thank you gift pack. You can let them know there's a voucher for them to pass on to family, friend, or work colleagues. So at least you're asking for that referral. But also too, there's a couple of gifts for them to redeem for themselves because you are experts in skin health and you can help them have um, the best skin of their life. And there's a gift for them to redeem towards any of the skin treatments and skin related services that you offer. And you also have a gift um, to get their skin journey off on the right foot at home as well, towards um, uh, getting them on the, the, a personalised home care regime as well. So that's one way that you're able to use a print piece, have a conversation with, an ex with a new client to use the Ascension principle towards uh, introducing them to other services that you offer to help them get more value from the fantastic beauty salon that you have set up. Here's an example of using Ascension when it comes to campaign marketing. So at the moment, you may have a winter warmer package in place. Uh, your winter warmer package could include a, refre a refresher facial. And based on a recommendation, based on like, so the client comes in and has their winter warmer package, they get their 30 minute refresher facial. The therapist has done a great job and she's gone through, you know, her consultation, her skin analysis. She's now at the end of the treatment, she's recommending home care and she's making a recommendation towards where to take the, um, the person's skin next as far as professional treatment in the clinic goes. So based on that, they recommend that they rebook for a peel, okay? The client rebooks for the peel and they come in. So we've, as far as Ascension goes, we've taken them from winter warmer campaign marketing promotion to the next treatment, which is a, a more advanced targeted peel. So they come in, they have their peel, and based on the results that the client has and the value the clients receive from that, they decide to invest in a course of peels with LED. That's an example of ascension on the uh, when it comes to your uh, campaign marketing. So you've got your hook promotion, your winter warmer package with your refresher facial. Where do we take the skin next? We're going to re um, get them to book in for a more targeted peel, and then where do we take the skin after that? What, what's the next step of ascension? It's a course of treatment. Okay, so I hope that that's helped you uh, understand how you could utilize this concept of ascension to get. Uh, greater lifetime value from your existing clients and when it comes to new clients like I've just previously demonstrated you have a new client who's referred to you and they uh, have a lash lift and tint okay they get their thank you gift pack you, you uh, talk, um, talk to them about the fact that you are specialists in skin health 
they book in for a professional skin, skin analysis. You could also offer them a complimentary LED session off the back of that if they rebook for the service they've just had today and then you are moving them towards skin treatments. And that could be the gift inside, your client thank you gift pack, your new client welcome pack. Also too, there's a gift redeemable towards retail. It could be $25 towards three or more products. You pack that up, you send them home, up goes average spend. As far as Ascension goes, they've moved from beauty services, they're now a, uh, a skin client taking care of their skin at home, based on what you've recommended for their skin, okay? So that's an example for utilizing that particular uh, concept for your new clients as well. So part two will happen next week. I have three more tips to help you increase your client lifetime value. So I'll see you right here on the Salon Marketing Creative Agency Facebook page next week for part two. And that will be episode 16 of the new Salon Marketing Show. I'll see you next week. And thanks very much for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And if I come back here, where am I? There we go. Fantastic. Great. Bye for now.